Good morning, Pasco High Science students. Welcome to the Saturday School Recovery class. So first up here, we have the review for the inquiry standards. This is video one, inquiry A, how to write an investigative question. Okay, investigative questions. So the whole goal, the whole objective for this section of the recovery is we want you guys to be able to create and to develop an investigative question that eventually will lead to you writing a procedure and a conclusion. So the goal for this morning is to be able to design and write an investigative question that identifies a manipulated variable and a responding variable. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to use the sentence frame, how does changing blank affect blank? And we'll be um, identifying what to fill in the blanks here in just a minute. All right, here's a little bit of background information to get us started. So you hear this word all the time. You hear this word inquiry. And a lot of you maybe don't even know what inquiry means. So National Science Teachers Association, they say that Scientific inquiry refers to the activities through which students, like you, develop knowledge and understanding of scientific ideas, as well as the understandings of how scientists study the natural world. So it's all about discovery, um, looking at problems, looking at certain situations or phenomena that happen around us, and trying to make sense of it all. Alright, so when we are creating an investigative question, the first step in doing this and the first step in discovering all these natural world issues is going to help us basically figure out how to write a procedure and then eventually um, coming up with a conclusion. Okay, first things first. Let's figure out our variables. So this word manipulated variable and just the word variable let's figure out what it all means so let's break it down here okay a variable is something that can be controlled it can be changed or it could be measured so just like in your math class you hear the word variable so if you've got um, a formula and you're solving for X or you're solving for Y that's, that's a variable, okay, a variable in math. But in here, for science, a variable is something that we're controlling, changing, or measuring. Okay, so here's an example for, it, for you. Amount of water, right? For example, the amount of water you water the lawn with. Okay, the variable here is the amount of water, right? Because if we wanted to, we could control that, right? We could change it, or we could measure it if we wanted to. So when you write an investigative question, you always need to make sure you're identifying your manipulated variable. What is it that you're going to change in your experiment? Okay. The next step is the responding variable. Okay. Uh, the responding variable is basically the response, right? What is the response going to be um, when you've made that change? Okay. What is it that we're looking for? All right, so here's an example situation I have for you. And we're going to use this um, we're going to use this situation to help develop a question. And eventually in the next video, it's going to help us write a procedure and then you guys are going to be doing a conclusion. So here's the situation. It's a hot summer day, and you and your friends, you're outside on the on the lawn in your backyard and you're sitting down on the grass and you're looking at the grass and you're realizing that the grass is starting to turn brown, right? It looks like it's starting to die. So you and your buddies, you get to thinking, you're like, hmm, I wonder why. I wonder why this grass is starting to turn brown and die. So let's come up with an investigative question. If we really wanted to test this out, we could. Okay, let's figure out what we know here. Okay, we know it's a hot summer day out. We know the grass is turning brown. We know a little bit about photosynthesis and probably has something to do with the amount of water that the grass is getting. Alright, so what is the 
manipulated variable here in this situation? What can we control, change, or measure? What do you think it is? Take 15 seconds and think about what is something in this situation you could control, measure, or change. Okay, what did you come up with? So I'm assuming you said the amount of water. Okay, the amount of water we use to water the lawn, that's going to be the manipulated variable. That's something that we can control, change, or measure. All right, so now that we know the manipulated variable, let's think about the response. What is the responding variable? What do we want to get out of this? What's the effect? Okay, so maybe in this situation, we want to know how many green blades of grass are going to appear as a result of changing the amount of water we water the lawn with. So let's be specific because we don't want to spend hours and hours counting blades of grass. So let's say that we want to know how many green blades of grass there are in the circle about the size of a coffee cup. We could count that. That wouldn't take too long. All right, so let's put this all together now. We know our manipulated variable. We know our responding variable. We can put it together into our investigative question. So the teachers in the science department have come up with a very cool investigative question frame, which you are probably all familiar with, which I'm sure you have seen before. So here's what it looks like. How does changing blank affect blank? So we need to know what these two blanks are. What do you think the first blank represents? Take 10 seconds and think about the first blank. Okay, if you said that is the manipulated variable, you are a superstar. And let's think of the next blank. Take 10 seconds. Ready? Go. If you said that's the responding variable, then you, again, are a superstar rock star. So let's fill it in, okay? The information that I gave you, the situation with the lawn and the grass and the water, let's put it together into an investigative question now. So let's take, let's take about 15 seconds here and let's try and write this down. How would you put this together? How does changing blank affect blank? Okay, 15 seconds, ready, go. Okay, let's see what you got. This is what I came up with. Let's see how yours compares to mine. I said, how does changing the amount of water you water the lawn with affect the number of green blades in the circle. Okay, if you notice, we've got our manipulated variable, which is the amount of water, okay? And we also have our responding variable, and that's the number of green blades in the grass. Okay, so we want to know how does changing the amount of water affect the number of green blades that we can measure in a circle the size of a coffee cup. Okay, so again, this, this uh, format for writing an investigative question, it works for many, many, many other um, questions or curiosities that you might have along the way. So I hope this helped, and good luck on the next video.